One of the things we love about anime is that there are literally no limits to where your imagination can take you. But what if we tell you that some of the most outlandish anime were actually inspired by real-life events? Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, we're counting down 10 anime that you would never have guessed were based on true stories. You're gonna want to bring out the popcorn for this one. Some of these can be a bit of a shocker. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more awesome videos. We're starting off this list with one of the most popular anime that have endured despite its length. At number 10, One Piece. With its over 936 episodes and counting, One Piece has earned a cult following from anime and manga lovers alike. Famous for having an infectious enthusiasm about it, One Piece follows the adventures of Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hat Pirates. This anime features some of the most outrageous characters that it can be surprising when fans realize that a lot of its characters are based on actual people, mostly pirates. A well-known example is Zoro. One Piece creator Eiichiro Oda admits that Renoa Zoro's name and character is based on the 17th century French pirate of the Caribbean, Francois Lolonay. There are actually a few more examples of those from this anime alone that we've decided to put that on a separate list. Another well-loved classic at number 9, Dragon Ball Z. Who doesn't remember this epic anime? With its larger-than-life fight scenes and the literally out-of-this-world characters, Dragon Ball Z has turned into one of the most popular Japanese anime of all time. But we bet you're today years old when you learned that one of its famous antagonists, Frieza, was inspired by a real-life a-hole. Back in the late 80s, when the country was experiencing what was known as the Japanese asset price bubble, real estate agents made lots of money by selling properties at extremely inflated prices. Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama hated these agents as much as the average Japanese. So he created a horrific, insufferable douche that conquered planets and sold them off. Up next, at number 8, Gintama. Gintama is one of those animes that turned from zero to hero because of its hilarious and often satirical jokes. This series is notorious for poking fun at other anime, and sometimes even at itself. Not many creators would air an episode that makes fun of how they weren't selling as much as they wanted to. With its brand of comedy, fans are often surprised to learn that this alien versus police versus samurai anime is packed with historical references and events. Gintama Shinsengumi, for example, is inspired by the Shogunate period's special police force. Some of the characters even bear names that are similar to historical figures like Kondo Isao and Hijikata Toshiro. Even the main character, Sakata Gintoki, was based on the legendary samurai Sakata Kintoki. At number 7, Steins Gate. In the year 2000, a man named John Titer went a little cuckoo on some online forums and declared that he was a time traveler from 2036. He warned of a rapidly approaching world war and a nuclear fallout. Luckily for us, none of his predictions have come true. But thanks to him, voila! Nitro Plus gave birth to a manga that turned into a very popular 2011 animated series. In Steins Gate, we see a mad scientist and his friends try to change things up a bit after learning they can send text messages back in time. Unlike the real-life John Titer, however, the time travelers in this anime are the real deal. Speaking of war, at number 6, Grave of the Fireflies. Considered to be one of the most powerful war movies of all time, Grave of the Fireflies is a Studio Ghibli film based on the short semi-autobiography by Akiyuki Nosaka. This tearjerker follows the story of young Seida and Setsuku, whose mother was unfortunately killed in a bombing during the World War II. Like Seida, Akiyuki Nosaka desperately tries to keep his little sister alive but loses her to malnutrition and blames himself for her death. Will somebody please stop cutting onions here? No, seriously, stop. <laughs> We're 
halfway through the list, and things are about to get more interesting as we break away from historical anime. At number 5, Welcome to the NHK. Welcome to the NHK is a modern anime written by Tatsuhiko Takimoto, who has revealed that the series was inspired by his own accounts of being a recluse. The fictional plot revolves around the life of a college dropout trying to make it as a game designer. The series became controversial because it tackles a conspiracy theory about NHK, the real-life Japanese television network. The theory goes that NHK is actually trying to make societal hikikomori, that is, turn its viewers into reclusive individuals who withdraw from the world. Takimoto further reveals that he still deals with a very real depression shown in the series, even going on to say that he was, and we quote, living as a parasite on the royalties from this book. But he isn't the only author to turn his depression into a masterpiece. At number 4, Aoi Bungaku. The anime series Aoi Bungaku is based on a Japanese novel written by Usamu Dazai. One of its more famous arcs, the No Longer Human arc, is thought to be autobiographical. But what made it controversial is the fact that it focuses largely on the theme of suicide. In fact, many fans believe that the series is the Zai's final will, as he committed suicide shortly after the book was published. <laughs> At number 3, Mawaru Pingundrum. One look at this anime summary and two things that you're likely to think are 1. The Japanese are really very imaginative and number 2. This can't possibly be based on actual events. But that's where you're wrong. Mawaru Pingundrum is a series about two brothers seeking out the Pingundrum, a magical item that they need to give to the penguin spirits living in a penguin hat to save their sister's life. Although highly unrealistic, the story confronts the effects that the 1995 terror attack in Tokyo had on Japan's children. Also based on real-life disasters that happen in Japan, at number 2, Tokyo Magnitude 8.0. So far, the movies and series we've listed here were written after real-life events have already happened. Apparently, Japanese writers can also be fortune tellers. The wizards behind the series, Tokyo Magnitude 8.0, almost accurately predicted the future. But instead of using crystal balls and teacups, they relied on extensive scientific research to show the aftermath of an earth-shattering disaster that would rock Japan. The show, which aired in 2009, predicted that a magnitude 8.0 earthquake will hit the country in 2012. This wasn't too far off as an actual 9.0 earthquake that shook Japan in 2011. And finally, at number 1, My Neighbor Totoro. Perhaps the most famous Ghibli film among kids, My Neighbor Totoro is a light-hearted movie about sister Satsuki and Mei, and the fluffy forest spirit Totoro. A lot about this film has become the stuff of trivia and conspiracies that, to this day, remain controversial. For one, the protagonist's mom suffers from tuberculosis, which mirrors the experience of writer-slash-producer Hayao Miyazaki, whose own mother suffered from the illness. In fact, Miyazaki says he intentionally made the protagonist's girls because it would have been too painful for him had they been boys. But one of the craziest fan theories links the films to the Sayama incident, an infamous murder case involving the kidnap, rape, and murder of a 16-year-old, whose sister later committed suicide. Man, that's heavy. Do you know other animes that were based on true stories? Tell us about them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you for watching and until our next bestest video.